This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Lynda.com. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, John Reitinger, and the title should give it away. This is the show where we take all the tech rumors from the week, the things that seem plausible, not plausible, might happen, could happen, might someday potentially happen. I served them up to you in one video so you know exactly what you might have missed. Up this week, the Galaxy S5 looks like it's getting a Google Play edition, which ties in nicely to perhaps Google killing off the Nexus line. The iPhone 6 is going to get some crazy new camera tech, and it looks like the iWatch entered production. This is from a roundup. Let's start rounding them up. So I've been pretty honest about it. I love my Android naked and unadulterated in the way Google intended. Uh, and I've loved when Google has gone with Google Play devices to get the best of the flagships, but you also get sort of naked and unskinned Android. And it looked like the latest from Samsung might be getting some Google Play action as well. So when Samsung first announced the Galaxy S5, we heard nothing of a Google Play edition. Not even a peep, not even a rumor, not even a little birdie landing on your shoulder whispering about a Google Play edition. Uh, but we do have is a Google Play edition of the Galaxy S4 available in the Google Play Store. Well, earlier in the week, that same Galaxy S4 post and the image of the Google Play Galaxy S4 was replaced with the Galaxy S5 picture. But no other mention of a Galaxy S5 at all, leading us to believe that perhaps Google is getting ready to unleash a Galaxy S5 with Google Play, because why else would they have that picture there? Uh, again, though, nothing's been confirmed by Samsung, by Google, or by my mom, because she tends to know things. Um, we know nothing else about it, but if you're looking to get a Google Play Edition, you might want to wait another couple days or a week. And speaking of Google Play Editions, they might be the new Nexus phone, so to speak. Rumors, and I'm very sad to say this out loud, that Google might be killing off the Nexus line. Can we just do a moment of silence for what could be the final Nexus phone out, or perhaps one more might be coming? Gonna miss you guys, pour one out. So earlier in the week, on Tuesday, a publication called The Information published new details on a program inside of Google called Android Silver that says they're planning to develop high-end products to represent the Android platform. And if you're thinking that's what the Nexus device does, you would be correct. These devices would supposedly replace Nexus devices, which originally just intended for developers anyway, but are now focused a lot towards consumers. Uh, the Google Play Edition devices typically are premium flagships and are targeted at developers. You know, instead, you got the uh, new HTC One and the Galaxy S5 supposedly coming very soon. Sony's got a few out there as well. Uh, the information, and not the information that I'm sharing, the publication, the information, uh, said Google's plan is to kill off the Nexus phones entirely, which is super big bummer for not only me, but also I'm sure a ton of other Nexus fans out there. Uh, the Google Silver devices will be manufactured by OEMs and then sold through carriers that outlets suggested, perhaps replacing Google's direct-to-consumer model that we've got right now available through Google Play. The site did say that OEMs and carriers will effectively be paid to produce and sell high-end devices that closely adhere to Google specifications and that the goal is to target Apple. So this sounds kind of similar to the existing Google Play portfolio since all of these phones are high-end flagships anyway, but they're not sold by the carriers. Uh, perhaps Google wants specifically custom-made products for its silver line of devices, so maybe like a Galaxy S5 Silver or an HTC One Silver. We don't know if the silver name is supposed to involve metal or that's just sort of just part of the name to make it sound cool. Uh, so don't know much information about it right now, but we're hearing rumors the Galaxy S5 Prime, you know, that kind of fits in nicely, but perhaps that's sort of another device entirely. Uh, no word well has to come to fruition. I'm hoping that it's a fake rumor, but my gut tells me we're gonna hear more during Google's I.O. in June. I'm hoping all we'll hear is the rumors are fake. It's not gonna happen, but don't hold your breath. We've already heard some grumblings about a Nexus 6, which perhaps could be the swan song for the Nexus line, but I'm, I'm hopeful that it's not gonna happen, the rumor is that the Nexus 6 will be based on the upcoming new LG flagship. So, I don't know. Please don't be true. Let's jump over from Google and Samsung, talk a bit about Apple and the iPhone 6. It looks like they might be getting some cool new camera tech. So the iPhone 5S, I think, still offers one of the best cameras on the market, but it does lack a pretty important feature that photographers and photo heads, I just made that word up, have really been clamoring for, and that is OIS or just stands for Optical Image Stabilization, or OIS, depending on how you want it. I like OIS, it sounds better, uh, for short. Uh, the, hardware, the hardware technology, which has been used on a ton of other smartphones, including HTC One, 
even the M7. Uh, and the LG G2 allows you to shoot clear photos even when moving, hence the image stabilization thing. Um, and while riding around in a bumpy car, so you can take those selfies while your friend's driving. Uh, several rumors have suggested that Apple was going to add OIS on its iPhone 6, but now a brand new report out of China says it's going to take technology to a totally different way. Apple will instead allegedly opt for ES or electronic image stabilization uh, for short. According to analysts out of China who posted the rumor on Weibo, electronic image stabilization will rely on software to clean up any blurring uh, in an image instead of hardware technology that OIS relies on uh, to create better photos. That might raise some concern for folks who prefer to rely on hardware for image stabilization since software typically doesn't always work as well. Still, Apple hasn't let anyone down with its cameras, I don't think, recently, so they've been pretty good. So if it adds OIS, it should be pretty decent. If it adds EIS, hopefully it'll have a reason for it. Uh, maybe it's got a really solid algorithm that allows for quicker shooting. I, I don't know. But an analyst is saying it, and if an analyst is saying it, it's always got to be true. I'm going gonna, gonna to put like a mustache on my finger and be like, I'm an analyst. And my analytical head says Apple's going to do a hologram phone. And like, boom. Analyst says, hologram phone coming. Take it with a gigantic grain of salt. I'm gonna step away from the rumors for a quick second to thank the good peeps at lynda.com. They offer thousands of really engaging, super easy to follow video tutorials that are taught by people that know what they're talking about. Uh, you can learn anything from software, creative, and business skills if you just wanna better yourself. Uh, they really make it easy. Membership starts just 25 bucks a month, and it's online, so you get 24 seven access to whatever you want. You can learn in little tiny pieces or go for huge comprehensive courses. You you can learn things like web design, programming, photography, video design, business, audio, video, things like 3D animation that are way over my head, uh, and a ton more. Give lynda.com a try for seven days for free by visiting lynda.com slash technobuffalo. Again, that's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash technobuffalo. And while you are eating your gigantic grain of salt, let's talk about the iWatch. A new report from, you guessed, the China Times claims early production for the rumored iWatch already kicked off, supporting the rumors that the smartwatch could launch this fall. The article, which cites anonymous sources, those are the best kinds, in Apple's supply chain, also claimed the device would use a different type of processor chip for the miniaturization purposes. The iWatch CPU will reportedly use system and package modules, or SIPs, as I like to call them, instead of standard printed circuit boards, or PICIBs, which isn't as fun to say, allowing Apple to pack multiple sensors inside a single chipset. If this rumor does prove to be true, the iWatch could come in a much smaller size compared to the bulky devices from Samsung and other competitors. The inclusion of sensors in the device also suggested it could work pretty closely with Apple's upcoming HealthBook app, which at this point is still a rumor uh, and leaked earlier this year. So the rumored smartwatch is expected to feature a curved display, possibly provided by LG. We don't know much about the iWatch, but with production supposedly getting underway and already going, uh, it's possible we'll start seeing leaked parts and photos turn up in the very near future. And you know, WWDC is not that far away. Perhaps they want to check the time on the fancy new iWatch, and Tim Cook could be like, well, I was giving this presentation, I took 47 steps. I know that because of my iWatch. But that's probably not gonna happen. You can tell I just have technology pipe dream. So please, Google, don't kill the Nexus line. Apple, come out with your iWatch so I can stop talking about it. That would just be my hopeful wishes for the week. And anyway, I guess, hope you enjoyed it. What do you think about these rumors? Leave your comments down below. If you want to save the Nexus line, maybe we should create a White House petition so that they can't get rid of it and the president would have to review it. That could be kind of fun. Anyway, I want to hear your thoughts. Leave it all down below. Of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for latest and greatest tech news. Until then, I am John Rettinger. See you guys next video. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below in my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.